Welcome to G3, a video and podcast series from 702 Communications. In this series, we review tech that makes our lives easier and our homes smarter. We also visit with guests from our community who create, share, or use that tech every day. I'm your host, Brian Crowman. In this episode, we're going to talk about Amazon's Kindle Paperwhite. Uh, even though I've owned several Kindles over the years, including the first one, I don't know that I've ever done a review on one, so it's probably time to change that. I am a big reader. I logged 31 novels read last year in the Goodreads Readings Challenge. If you haven't signed up for Goodreads and the Reading Challenge, do it. Um, almost all of those I read on the Kindle app on my iPad. I do own a Kindle too. Uh, this is the fifth gen, I believe. It's not touchscreen. It still has the side buttons to navigate pages, and I have to remind myself how to get through the menu structure to get anything downloaded or read. Um, but I do like reading on the Kindle device because uh, well, for a lot of reasons, but I also like to travel as light as I can, so when I'm on the road with my tablet so I can keep productive, I'm probably not gonna also bring the Kindle along. Uh, and it's not because the Kindle isn't better than the app on the tablet either, because it absolutely is. Uh, the Kindle, if you've never had one, it's a great little device. It's light, it's easy to hold, it's really easy to read on. There's noticeably less eye strain for me when I read on a Kindle than on a tablet, and it holds a lot of books. Uh, there are a couple big differences between my old Kindle and this Paperwhite model. They're about the same size and weight as you can see. Uh, they're both comfortable to hold. The Paperwhite though is touchscreen. It's also lighted. If we turned off the lights, you couldn't see this one. You could see this one, and this one's waterproof. So if you're a fan of audiobooks, uh, this one's also cooler because you can also sync to your Audible account. You can put audiobooks on this, pair with a pair of Bluetooth headphones, download the book, and you can listen to the Audible book on this Kindle. Uh, you can also easily switch between the, your Audible book then and the written version. Um, that's great for impatient commuters who can't wait to get back into their car for the next chapter, or for people like me who have an occasional road trip where they wanna buy a book, but we don't get it all listened to on the road, and then we can just take it into the house and, and read it. So, is the Paperwhite worth the price? Um, like so many things I review, it really depends. Uh, this new Paperwhite is $129, uh, and if you like to read in the sun or on the beach or in the pool or tub, it might be a great device for you. Um, if you don't have a tablet but also like to read, this might be a great device for you. If you don't have a smartphone and want to travel with your audiobooks, this might be a great device for you. Uh, so the bottom line is that there really are a lot of reasons to like and own a Kindle. All right, so on the off chance that you've never seen a Kindle work, let's see how this one actually works. Uh, so you've got your home screen here where you can select something from your library. If you wanna select a book from your library, these are all uh, that I've recently read. Uh, we can go back and we can find a brand new one, something that's trending this month perhaps, something that's recommended for me in prime reading. And if I want to, I can go ahead and just click on one of those. I could read for free with Kindle Prime uh, reading. I could buy for $3.99. I can look in Audible format. So that's all really, really easy. Uh, in, in, and it's all touch screen. So literally at the touch of a finger, I can explore, find new books, download books, buy books. If I wanna get back into a book I've been reading, um, one of the things that is an adjustment if you did own a previous Kindle, but now you're looking at the touch screen, um, is that there aren't any buttons, right? So you have to click on one side of the screen to go forward, click on the back side of the screen to go back. If you wanna to get to the menu at all, you have to click on the top part of the screen. And in the top part of the screen, it's gonna bring down this page display and you can change all your settings there. It, it just takes two minutes of understanding where you need to touch on this and, and you're, you're off and running with, with the new Kindle. Um, the, again, the, the paper white here, it, it's really great that they've added some lighting to it. The old ones, like I say, if, if the lights are off here, um, you can't read anything. It's just like a regular book. This has added some, some, some lights to it which aren't as bright uh, or, or as hard, for, hard on your eyes as, as a regular tablet uh, would be. Um, so really, your reading experience on the Kindle is, is still fantastic. I do like it too because it's the size of a paperback novel. So we, we put it in your hand, it's easy to hold. And of course, battery life. Kindle, if, if 
if you've never heard, a Kindle is, is, a, is a device that you can put in your pocket, charge it once, and you can really run it for about a month. So uh, th that happens frequently with me. I'm, I'm going between tablets or, 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 or whatever, reading on my iPhone. I've got my Kindle in my bag and I decide, you know what, I'm outside, I w I'd love to pick up my book right now. And I pull up my, my Kindle and find that even though I haven't charged it for a month, I still got 50 some percent battery life. So battery life on the Kindle, really unsurpassed with any other sort of e-reader. So with all of that, is the Paperwhite worth the price? Like so many things I review on this podcast, it really depends. The new Paperwhite is $129, but if you like to read in the sun, on the beach, in the pool, in a tub, it might be a good device for you. If you don't have a tablet but like to read, this might be a great device for you. If you don't have a smartphone and you wanna travel with your audiobooks, this might be a great device for you. So bottom line, there really are a lot of reasons to like a Kindle. That's it guys, I know this didn't take too long but I hoped you liked this look at the Kindle Paperwhite. If you did, let me know. Comment on the video, send me suggestions, and remember to share, like, subscribe, and tell all your friends about us because we've got more shows coming up. As always, I'm Brian Cromit. This is G3. Game on.